Let's go in the office. Amen. She come back out there, she said, I made up my mind, I made my room. Yes. Amen. I'm going to give all the kids back to Elbrook. Yeah. And concerning the question of whether somebody is good enough to take care of the kids while he's at work, yeah. that's his business. Yeah. 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 It's like any other thing to yeah. Right. You trust me. You don't question me. 
you believe in him. Amen. And no matter how it looks, hold on. Yeah. Don't give up. Amen. Don't doubt. Mm -hmm. Don't get discouraged. Amen. Oh. This is a bad move. You gotta have you some backbone in you. Amen. Our coming now is in the true worshiper must worship the Father and Spirit in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Mm -hmm. I say he seeketh such mm -hmm. to worship him. Those who are worshiping the Spirit of truth. We had some setbacks yesterday, but we got the victory over all. And got to be about thirty thousand uh, dollars yesterday on that property in Savannah. Mm -hmm. But we got the victory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So, no matter how things tend to look and seem to come against us, the gates of hell will not prevail against God's truth. Amen. And we got to know that and believe that. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And I thought of the victory we had to come yesterday, I started getting happy. Amen. Amen. They can do try all kind of tricks. A man doctor up a contract and switch it this way and it, but God is still in charge. No matter how they scheme, they can't out scheme God. Oh, hallelujah. While they plan, God already figured out before they ever was born. Amen. Before they ever came into the position to try to scheme, God already figured it out. Yeah. All we got to do is hold on. Yeah. And hold up. I want to take a text from First Peter. And pick up in chapter 1, verse 7. That the trial of your faith. Being yes. much more precious than of gold that perishes, going to be tried with now, fire. Now, the trial of your faith yes. is more precious than gold. Mm -hmm. In other words, what you are going through, it, man, listen, there's no amount of money mm -hmm. can quantify what you can receive or your esteem in the sight of God through those various tests and trials. Man. Read. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. whom having not seen, ye have, ye love, and whom though Wait, now ye see him. You ain't never seen him, <laughs> but you love him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You never shook his hand, but you love him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He never knocked on your door and opened up and said, Can I come in? But you love him. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he's done all that through the Spirit. Yeah. That's how you love him, through the Spirit. Amen. So it says here that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the That's why we come to church Christ. and worship him. Amen. We don't look at nothing negative. Amen. We don't look at, well, I wonder why. How come this and how come that? We come to church and worship God. Amen. Always Amen. come with a positive attitude to lift up the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. God is real. Yes, he is. And the devil's real. Yes. But God knows every move the devil's planning before the devil even yes. think to plan it. Amen. God is still in charge. Amen. But God got to have a people that believe on his name. That believes on his principles and his precepts. Yes. That will follow him regardless of how it looks. You know, because the battle seems to be going to get to that, I don't mean you quit. Amen. You don't turn in your uniform. Amen. You don't drop your gun and run. Or the battle seems to be going another way. Amen. I was thinking about that football game the other day. Mm -hmm. I come out and somebody told me, well, uh, Atlanta lead, leading 28 to 3. Wait a minute. We fought uh, New England because Tom Brady's a Michigan man. Amen. 28 to 3. I said, well, you know, since we think about it. I'm watching something else. I'm going to see you see what's going on. I said, New England and tied it up. I told you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn up and got with a couple more minutes left. I said, what's that be going to do? 
I'm saying. Why did they win that game? Down 28 to 3. Going into the last period, last last half. But they came and man, they put something on that team. I tell you, the team never scored another point. <laughs> they scored uh, uh, what 20, 28 unanswered points. Amen. Come from behind. Yeah. Why? Somebody didn't quit. Amen. Yeah. Somebody said, we can turn this thing around. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no sense of laying down because 28 to 3. Amen. Amen. You don't never look at the circumstance. And our people is, they athletes. Amen. We are spiritual kings. Yes. Yes. We got way more than they got. Come on, come on, man. man, they're playing for a trophy. We're playing for heaven's reward. Amen. Coach guy, now we got God guy. Right, yeah. Hallelujah. All right. Don't yeah. never quit. Yeah. Cowards quit. Amen. Champions don't never quit. Amen. And you can't lose the battle because the battle already won. Amen. See, that's something we got to get in our head. Yes. Amen. We are already victorious. I don't care what it looked like. Amen. That's why when David came out and saw that giant, he would not look at that giant. Right. He's looking at a little cowardly mouse. All right. All right. Look at that mouse. Amen. Got that big big old soul. David had, had two hands lifted up. Amen. That's how big and strong that giant was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the God he served. Right. And God allowed the situation in that whole scenario to take place to try to show the church today somebody is going to stand up and believe in God. Amen. And not look at what the conditions may seem to look like. Amen. You're not defeated. Amen. You're a conqueror. Amen. Right? The Bible says you're more than conqueror. Amen. That means if there's a conqueror, you're better than him. Because so you're more than a conqueror. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you have to understand. You're going to be tested, you're going to be tried, and how many people would give, give up had they had the burden of responsibility to carry then senior elder? Amen. You never caught him in a down moment. Amen. You ain't never seen him with his head down. Amen. He always said, and the same ones who potted and schemed. Yes. Oh, you can see them, but he can't see them except supervision. Mm -hmm. uh, once a month, once a week, or twice a month, or something. Mm -hmm. well, or, oh, uh, we'll let him see them for an hour, mm -hmm. maybe two. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Scheming and plotting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I want mama to take him, I want granddaddy to take him, I want this one to take him and move him to Louisiana. And pretty soon that, man, listen, y'all don't understand. About two or three months ago, that supervisor said we decided we're going to take the kids permanently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not here, right? Mm -hmm. Permanently. Mm -hmm. But we didn't stop praying. Amen. Yeah. 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 The same ones who splattered and schemed. Now, they ain't got no visitation right unless Eric Brooks says so. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. I thought y'all was in the driver's seat. Oh, God, you got it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you the truth. I was joking with you. Yeah. Yeah. God turned that thing around on a dime. Yeah. Yeah. The very ones that had everything going for them, don't have nothing going for them. Yeah, yeah. right. They ain't got no visitation rights. Amen. Amen. What? That was the judge said. <laughs> None. Mm -hmm. I think you, you guys see the other bridge before they get a chance to even come by and work. Let me move on here. I'm trying to show you about this. Listen. Just when people think they've got the best of the true light church. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're doing. Come on. Right. Right. God said, well, you lose the least the best. Do it also. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. And when he got ready to make the devil our footstool, mm -hmm. he did just that because it's in his word. Right. I'll make the enemy your footstool. Amen. Same ones mm -hmm. that was going up high mm -hmm. and 
and past us, we saw when they was coming down. Right. Now we on high. Right. Not from no, listen, not from no court degree. Right. From God's degree. Right. 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 I told you before, prayer changes things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all we got to do is don't lose our faith. The Bible says more precious than silver and gold. There's no amount of money you can have that's more precious than your faith in God. Mm -hmm. And this thing is by faith. Had someone give up, quit, been all over. Mm -hmm. But when you stay steadfast, hallelujah, and you don't and you don't look at setbacks as victories for them, you look at it as temporary setbacks. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And, and when them football players looked and saw we down 28 to 3, somebody said, well, the game ain't over yet. We <laughs> <laughs> got another four to play. What's wrong with y'all? Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Didn't they show up? Amen. I wish y'all had been in that courtroom. Y'all saw God show up. Amen. And I'm mean, I'm mean, he showed up. If you had right, jump, jump, and holler. And George has said, wait a minute now. I won't find nobody contempt the court. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But I know the judge got happy too. Amen. Right. Right. He still has to say to himself, God, peace and he's safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she had to put, have that courtroom in jail. Amen. <laughs> have that courtroom still in Hallelujah! Yeah. No, she yeah. <laughs> I had a good time then. Yeah. I, I had a good time when God showed up. Yeah. And I was looking at them big, them big lawyers and this, that, and the other. And our recommendation is such. Uh -huh. Our recommendation is this. Amen. Just said, well, I heard all, everything I want to hear now. Amen. Here's my room. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Here's my room. Amen. She may not even know that's God's room. Amen. Right. Amen. Pick up in verse 8. Whom loving, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see I him said, not. brothers and sisters, the spiritual warfare we are in is not based on tangible things. As such, you love God though you can't see God, but you love Him through the Spirit that has unfolded His great mystery to you. You can't see Him in the natural, but you can feel Him in the spiritual. So when the Spirit of God rises up in you, that's when you get happy knowing everything is all right. Sickness is the same thing. God is able to cure me of all this foolishness. Amen. Oh, I might have hurt me here, might have a little lump here and all that. Mm -hmm. But nothing to worry about. Amen. It's for you to call on the name of God mm -hmm. and then hold your integrity. Amen. When the pain hits, mm -hmm. when you still see the outward condition, you say, I'm, I'm healed. Amen. Stop smiling and get yes. happy. Amen. 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 I mean, that's it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Going to that story, that fourth heart attack, I believe it was. Put that newspaper in my arm. Praise God, that was it. You'll never make it back. Yeah. I said, I'm walking. Amen. Call somebody to pick you up. You know, I'm walking. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm walking. Me pain, hurt, couldn't hardly catch my breath. I said, I'm walking. Amen. That was it. You'll never make it to the doorstep. I said, watch me. Amen. Got to the doorstep, and I said, devil, you see that? See, I sometimes I argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> Devil, you can't scare me. Amen. See, a lot of times the devil scare you half to death. Amen. That's why I don't fool around with doctors. Amen. You know, the x ray said that I don't care what no x ray says. Amen. God said, by his strength, I'm healed. Yes. I'm standing on it. Yes. I'm trusting on it. Because he said so. And I believe it. You can believe this thing strong enough till action description comes alive in you. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. God said it, and he meant it. But you've got to be tried by faith. If you wasn't tried by faith, wouldn't nobody have no faith. Amen. Amen. What would be the sense of praying if you ain't got nothing to pray for? Amen. So you go through things, mm -hmm. difficult times. Mm -hmm. No matter what, it seems like sometimes everything comes against you. Mm -hmm. But you keep on praying. Amen. And praying. Amen. 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 
That woman with the issue of blood, she had lost so much blood and weight, and you know she was weak. Amen. But she had to press her way through a crowd that was pressing around Jesus. I said before, you don't know how many times she got knocked down. So I pushed you out the way. What you weigh about? Maybe 80 pounds? Amen. Get on that way. I'm trying to see him too. She picked herself back up and kept on going, didn't she? Yeah. Squeezing her way through it. Ancient away through here, and pretty soon she got close enough to say, If I can touch his coat, mm -hmm. that's all I want to do. Man. I don't want to shake his hand. Mm -hmm. Let me right. touch his coat. Right. Praise God from God. Yeah. And did she do it? Yeah. But it took something. The Bible says she had to press her way. Mm -hmm. Press means you got to put an effort in it. Mm -hmm. When you serve in God, you got to put an effort in serving God. And this is how you show your faith. Because look at me pressing my way. I don't feel like doing this, but I'm going anyhow. I don't feel like singing, but I'm singing anyhow. I don't feel like tapping my hammer on, tapping my hand in. I'm trying to show the devil he's alive and God is alive and well in my life. You're in the natural body. Yes, sometimes you don't feel like it. But you still press your way. You don't feel like singing sometimes, but you're still singing. Right. Why are you singing to the glory of God? Yes. And then when you learn how to do this, you feel a burden lifting. Yes. And you feel that peace and joy come back in. Mm -hmm. But you got to praise God to allow the negative forces around you to get back away from you. Mm -hmm. And the more you praise God, the more the negative spirits leave away from you. Yes. 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 That's why we got praise service and worship yeah. service and sing the song as I yeah. Oh, we sing the same song. Yeah, but they still make me happy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ain't no new song. Amen. It's the same old song. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That they used to sing a long time ago, it did happen. Yeah. And we sang it, it did happen. Yeah. And if we, if God tarry, amen, they're going to be the same after we gone. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. So what we have to do, brothers and sisters, is believe and trust in God. I want you to t also take notice in, uh, that's in, look at 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and now he wait. hears. The eyes of the Lord are over those who are saved. Those in church. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And his ears are open unto their prayers. But he the hears prayer. their prayer. Amen. If God hears your prayer, you don't worry about when he's going to answer it. Right. The main thing, he heard it. Yes. Now, he don't hear a sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. yes. But he hears those who pray and call on his name from a sincere heart. And when I say sincere heart, don't mean to say you ain't never messed up a time or two. Amen. But it means when you come and praise God and worship God, it's coming from your heart. Amen. Lord, you see anything wrong in me? Yes. Yes. And you do that. We all are pressing toward the mark of the high calling. But the main thing is to keep on pressing. Amen. If you see where you made a mistake, I didn't make that same mistake. Mm -hmm. If you see where you got a weakness, pray that weakness out. Amen. Let the weak stand strong. Mm -hmm. And once you spew it out your mouth, it becomes a reality in your life. Amen. Read. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, wait a minute. It's against them that do evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. We recommend that the children stay in foster care. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Man. For what reason? Right. I don't like the church. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, maybe it's God's church. Amen. That's right. I don't believe it. Do you believe it now? Do you believe it now? I thought the judge worked for the state. They do. Hand in hand. That's right. But when God steps in. Yes. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Read. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that Daddy, which is good? Catch that part? Man. Who is he? That will harm you if you be followers of God. Mm -hmm. And didn't say how high an officer hell, Amen. or how big they are, how bad they are. And who's gonna harm you if you follow in God? Amen. Who's gonna harm you if you stand in the church? Amen. Who's gonna harm you? Nobody. Right. Nobody can. Because mm -hmm. ain't nobody stronger than God. Yeah. But we can't see that. But it's still 
has to go through a faith principle. God got to find out, do you believe? What was that sermon we preached the other day? A uh, rich man came to God and said, my servant's dying. Yes. And God said, uh, go your way. You hear? Amen. And then God said, believe thou this? He said, yeah, Lord, I believe. Amen. And went on home and the servant was here. Yes. He believed. Yes. When God spoke for it, he believed. God speaks the word through his scripture, brothers and sisters. We got to believe the scripture. Amen. And again, I say no way before we get you going to I'll mean just that. Amen. And who is he? Verse 13. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? Uh -huh. But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye. And I said when things come against you, the best thing for you to do is start getting happy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you get setbacks, start getting happy. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? By not thinking, oh, look what happened to me. Oh, my God, why, why, did, that, why did he do that to me? You don't look at it like that. Yeah. You say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me another battle you, so I can claim a victory. You yeah. can't claim a victory if you ain't never been a battle. Amen. You can't win a war if you don't fight Amen. a war. Amen. So this is a constant fight. A constant struggle. Yes. But the struggle is God's struggle. Amen. We are just instruments that He uses. Amen. So again, I, I, I tell you, I I would never get over yesterday. Amen. 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 That thing was good. That thing, matter of fact, when I heard it, I didn't believe it. The other wagon said, Let me. I said, Do you hear what she said? <laughs> she said, Yeah, I heard. He started laughing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. I made my room. Amen. Kids go back to Elder Brook. Hallelujah. And so far as who's going to take care of when he's at work, that's his business. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. about this and this and this. Might have got arrested 20 years ago or 40 years ago. <laughs> she might have, they might have caught her maybe spitting on the sidewalk or something. Yeah, you don't know what. So God said, that, that, that is your business, that's his business. In other words, he tells me, leave his business alone. God is blessing his business long enough. Hallelujah. Go, hallelujah. In other words, he ain't leaving him alone to be fooling around. And people around the corner. That's right. Amen. Don't worry about it. Amen. Let him worry about it. That's his, that's his, that's his family. Amen. That's his business. She said that to me. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I tell you, you could fry an egg on their head. <laughs> when they walked out that cold, they were burning up. I'm like, yeah. And out the hallway, they walked past, I said, Thank you, Jesus. I said again, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, praise <laughs> What am I saying? Faith can move a mountain. Yes. All you got to do is believe and trust in God. Now, you got to be living something. Mm -hmm. So don't get caught in that bodily thing. Mm -hmm. You got to live now. You got to live something. Right. You got to live for God. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Thank mm -hmm. holy. And you'll live holy. Amen. And you'll be holy. Yeah. Now, yeah. You know, you say you don't make a mistake every now and then. But if you do, you know where to go. Yeah. I need some more. Man, I came to Detroit a couple of years ago. So I have, I have to drive down there. I need some more. Yeah. Need some more. Yeah. Come to find out that man got cancer. Yeah. And had three setbacks. You know, sometimes you don't wait until you've been in an accident. Sometimes it's best to be careful why you got it. If you have an accident, I wonder maybe I shouldn't have been going so fast. Sometimes you have to think about something before a situation happens. Because a lot of times you can avoid trouble by trusting 
and staying in the will of God. Okay. But one thing is for certain, is not only you stay in the will of God, and these tests and trials come, and they will come, you will get the victory every time. Did you hear what I said? Yes. 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 Not most of the time, not the time, you get the victory every time. Yes. If you stay in the will of God, if you for real, in your heart, Amen. be for real. Amen. Come to church, be for real. Amen. Amen. You can't sing with somebody else to sing anyhow. All right. Amen. I can't dance. I got two left feet. Shuffle. All right. Amen. 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 And what? Silas and Paul? In jail? Yes. Say, let's have church? Yes. But why are we going to have church in jail? <laughs> Ain't that a better place to have church in jail? Yes. Who needs God more than when you were in jail? <laughs> and they started having church. Amen. Had they not been praising and worshiping God and the condition they was in, God would have never sent that earthquake. Amen. None. Mm -hmm. But they proved something. We're going to praise and worship God because we know something's going to happen. Amen. 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 And it's got to be good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they began to praise God and worship God until God got excited himself mm -hmm. and sent that earthquake. Yeah. Amen. I tell you, and these are stories in the Bible that are real. Yeah. Amen. Don't fool yourself. These, will, these things really happen. Amen. That's why they record it. The Bible said record for our admonition. So we all know the power and might of God. Mm -hmm. So again, church, uh, verse 14 again. But and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Don't be afraid Amen. of their terror. Amen. I would admit, when that social worker judge asked her, what do you think? What is your recommendation? That social worker said, I recommend they stay in foster care. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I, 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 it shook me. Yeah. It shook me so bad till I said, now you know, if, if it was, if, I, I, I feel like going up and busting up side of you. Yeah. I said, yeah. I go home to your family every night, uh -huh. and she, yeah. she gonna do something like that. Amen. Mm -hmm. And say something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After all of this come, yep. I said, you see that? But when that judge said, I've made my mind. I've made up my mind. Elder yeah. Brooks said on the witness stand, getting ready to witness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Raise your hands and you sweat at this man. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait just a minute. I'm going to go to the office. Said, you know, when you go back in the office, it, 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 this look good. Yeah. <laughs> and all the social workers and everything, all of them back in the office. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like back there, a half hour. Could have been no more, maybe 45 seconds <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, <I'll... laughs> Come back in, you can get Elder el Witness in. He's still sitting on the stand. I'm getting a room.
I think you ought to maybe practice walking. <laughs> if you're dissatisfied with uh, your car, then maybe I'll not have to go to deals every now and then. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Give unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Give unto his prophet, so shall he be blessed. Amen. 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 Lord, don't let me think. I want to be your God. And my way seems done. Hold me by your side. When my faith is broken, oh, don't be ashamed. Something in my mind that no one will not hold me down. I want to be your friend, and I want to be so long. Hold me by your side when my faith is broken.
Jesus took all my sins far away. But since that day, since that very hour, oh yes, I knew God is real.